Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Sabbath Prep Friday, where basically I surrender something um, that I really don't want to go back to. Um, and so basically, um, I'd like for you to just kind of stay. If somehow or another that you ended up on this channel, just like you to stay, just basically kind of enjoy the conversation. Welcome everyone. Um, all of my subscribers, my newcomers, and also those that keep coming back are solid viewers. But, um, just welcome everyone. Um, if you haven't already, please, why don't you become a part of this YouTube family? We love to have you. It's totally free. Just basically touch on the word subscribe. A bell will come up when it does. Touch the bell, and then you'll see the word all. Hit all, and that way, every time I do a new upload, you'll receive uh, a notification. So, okay, so being Sabbath prep, basically, it's basically what it is, preparation for the Sabbath. Well, today, I cooked and I sold food for the nonprofit. And, I mean, I always enjoy that kind of thing. I enjoy seeing my friends and family, um, you know, enjoy new people, um, buying my food. Um, one of my school friends, sister friend, um, it was her first time today, so... Um, I hope that she had a really, really good experience. I really enjoyed seeing her. And I was just so surprised, you know, that I didn't even send her a menu. But she called and she said, we want to try some of your food, me, me and my husband. And so I was like really grateful for that. But however, I'm supposed to be talking about what I want to surrender, right? I know, I know, I know, I know. So, okay, this is the deal. I should have taken pictures of that kitchen because what happened was, um, I'm still trying to make an adjustment to like how I'm going to be, you know, cooking the food, when I'm going to cook it and, you know, what days I'm going to sell it and that kind of thing. And it just seems like Friday is not a good time. When I tell you that I did not have a second to clean up at my, about, about, I can't talk, behind myself as I went along. When I was done, that kitchen looked like a disaster zone. And thank God that the Bible talks about, like, basically cleaning up the kitchen as it relates to eating on the Sabbath. I'm going to try to find that text and put it in the description. You know, description is that arrow beside the title, and, you know, you can... Look at that. But anyhow, this was not Sabbath cooking. This wasn't Sabbath meal, like cleaning up after Sabbath meal. This was cleaning after Friday fundraiser. Okay. So it may not be a good time for me to do that on Friday. You know, even though it's like, I feel challenged, like, you know, to get the food done, have it on the time, you know, the time where I tell people or that they schedule the time for the curbside pickup. Um, that's kind of like challenging and kind of fun to be able to do that. Um, you know, like I said, seeing everybody kind of like a kind of fellowship, you know, um, but still I would have to sacrifice that, like preparing the fundraisers on Friday. What I can do is prepare the food ahead of time and then people can just pick up on Friday. Now. That even sounds like a breath of fresh air just saying it because just the stress and, you know, it's like I schedule the pickups like between three and five, but then I accommodate people if, you know, they can't work in between that time. And so um, it's real flexible, you know, but still even with that, people, it's like everybody scheduled their time for three o'clock. Like, Really? Do you know what that means for me? <laughs> you know? And while I was grateful, I'm not complaining or anything like that. I'm just saying that we got to do things decent and in order. And so Sabbath prep, I don't want to run into the Sabbath, be cleaning up from Friday. You know, it's like when Sabbath comes, you know, I want everything to be cleaned up as well as me, as far as like, you know, my sins. A physical appearance, you know, that kind of thing. And sitting with my hands crossed, 
waiting for the Sabbath to come in, you know, and not be cleaning up in the kitchen for hours, hours. And I mean that. It seems like every dish, every pot that was in that kitchen was in that sink and on that counter. It took forever for me to clean that kitchen up, okay? And I love my kitchen when it's clean. Oh, but it's dirty like that. You know, it wasn't dirty. I had cooked. And because I cooked and I didn't have time to clean up because, you know, the pressure, you know, not scheduling properly. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay. I'll make the adjustment. And when I make the adjustment, things will be better. So like I said, I even like the whole idea of like preparing the food ahead of time because, you know, it's like when you prepare vegan food, what you have to do with that a lot of times is let it cool all the way down and then like reheat it when you're ready to eat it because the texture is still kind of taking shape. I guess, yeah, taking shape or whatever um, while it cools. So it's like hard to know what the texture is going to be like when the food is still hot. So the advantage of, uh, that's a great advantage in like doing the food ahead of time because it gets to cool down with me and I can see the texture and to determine, you know, if I need to tweak something, you know, if I need to do something you know, different before people come and pick up their food, you know. Um, but the way I did it today, it's like the texture took place while I was with my patrons. And that's another reason why I should surrender this because that's not good. Because suppose it's not right. You know what I mean? They probably, a lot of them don't know what to do as far as like how to tweak it. How do you make the adjustment, you know, to where it, it, it is right. So I just really think it's a good idea to surrender this Friday um, fundraiser. And even though like, okay, right now, be as that we're moving into the spring, the sun is setting a little later. Um, in the fall and in a more winter time, it was a little bit earlier. And I was doing it on a Thursday. So now that it's a little bit later, I've been, you know, finding myself moving it over until Friday. So I need to go back to either Thursday or um, prepare the food ahead of time and people can pick it up on Friday. You know, they can pick up maybe Thursday and Friday, whatever, just so that I'm not cooking on Friday you know, and the kitchen is in disarray and I'm running into the Sabbath, cleaning it up, you know, um, because the, like I said, the Bible didn't say Friday, clean up from Friday. You, that's, you can do that on Sabbath. No, no. It's the clean up from Sabbath that you can clean, you know, tidy up the kitchen, you know, like after you eat like your salad, your sandwich or whatever you have it as your Sabbath meal, then Clean up behind yourself, you know, that right there. I mean, it ain't no deep cleaning, like cleaning the windows and cleaning out the oven. Not that. No, no. Um, Because we don't even cook on a Sabbath. So basically everything is prepared ahead of time, you know. So, um, so you know that it's not talking about deep cleaning. Okay, so basically that's all I have for you. And that's what I'm surrendering, that. Friday fundraiser to do it on another day, even when the sun is setting earlier, because it's it's just not working out. Even though it's fun, don't get me wrong. I have a ball doing it. You know, I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. You know, and just like be a little bit like on pins and needles a little bit because it's like I'm just trusting God and don't really know if things is gonna come out so so. But <clears throat> again. If I did it another day, I would feel more confident instead of being on pins and needles doing it on Friday and people picking it up on Friday, you know what I'm saying? And I'm giving an apology or whatever. No, I don't want that, you know? So again, I'm surrender it, do it, 
couple days before. That's all I have for you. All right, I love you. See you in the next YouTube. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube. Have a good Sabbath. Bye-bye.